guys, it's me Dave from the Kodo. Uh, today I'm going to give you a little tutorial on the steam boiler to get some steam engine or uh, some steam engines going and some power generated from that. Look at a few things first. Uh, there's a couple of different ways to use the steam that you generated. Uh, we'll get to these towards the end, but there is the hobbyist steam engine, the commercial steam engine, and the industrial steam engine. <clears throat> All of these have an interface when you right click on them and will give you different amounts of varying power 10 20 and 40 steam per tick uh, we're gonna oops deal with only the industrial steam uh, the industrial uh, engine for the efficiency that the 40 steam per tick gives a couple of other uh, pieces of equipment you'll need is a solid fuel firebox or a liquid fuel firebox both of these obviously are in NEI and you can check out the recipes for those but uh, they're one of the core pieces of the steam boiler um, dictating which type of fuel you're going to use obviously either solid or liquid and then there's a couple of other uh, pieces here the high pressure boiler and the low pressure boiler these are varying in cost to make uh, high pressure boiler has a little bit better output than the low pressure boiler for your bang for your buck so moving into the actual steam boiler you can see that it does have a, uh, an interface shows how much um, how much steam is being generated the temperature at which the steam boiler is at uh, how much fuel is in there this one is uh, specifically a liquid steam boiler and how much water is in there uh, you have to keep them cooled uh, with water Typically, a single aqueous accumulator will keep that filled up without any issue. Uh, the explosion of a steam boiler can be almost as devastating as a nuclear explosion, depending on the size. And as you can see, there are varying sizes that you can work with here. Uh, depending on how much power you're looking to put out, the tank size that it can hold of, of steam is different. One by... I guess that's one by one by two. Uh, two by two by three. You can go up to a height of four total with this size here. And you can get a little bit wider with a three uh, with a nine solid base going up to a height of four of the the um, pressure boilers. So we're gonna work with this one here. This one's gonna give us uh, they're not incredibly expensive to make. They uh, just require either iron or steel. And this one gives us the most room, uh, plus the most ability to put out uh, some energy. What we're going to use is this coal coke oven and the creosote oil that is being created here. And we're going to set up one of these guys right now. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my aqueous accumulator right directly underneath it. Oops. So we're going to change this, only the top is outputting water, and we're going to put the liquid fueled fireboxes all across the top. Now this is a multi-block structure, uh, like a lot of things in the Railcraft and um, Feed the Beast mod packs, so you have to, as you build it, it creates itself like I said we're gonna go with the biggest one so we'll just build that up using the steam boilers you can see they don't touch until the final one is put on there we go final ones put on and it becomes one the water will start to fill up in there but we need to give it fuel and using these creosote capsules, that's what we're going to do. And as you can see, it starts to uh, generate some, it starts to burn off the creosote oil to create uh, temperature. Once it hits 100 degrees Celsius, it'll start creating steam. Now, during this initial phase, it burns a lot of fuel. But once it's at its 100 degrees, then is much more efficient with the fuel. I'm going to let this heat up and I will be right back. 
And through the magic of television, we're at 99 degrees Celsius, about to start making fuel. As you can see, like I said, this is using up a ton of fuel to get to this temperature. Once we've uh, maxed out or we've uh, gotten more efficient, the usage of the fuel will go down. And depending on, as you can see, now steam is starting to get created. Uh, if you have a coke oven that is creating grease salt, you can have it pumping directly into this. Um, I'm using the capsules for the purpose of this. And depending on what type of fuel you're using, you'll be able to get heat a little bit quicker. Uh, the creosalt is 3.2K heat. The fuel capsules... <clears throat> I'll see, for instance, here's oil capsule at 64K heat. Uh, in the semi fluid generator. Um, no, we can't use that seed oil. We can't use oil. You have to use fuel. Where is fuel? This is running out. Fuel capsule, liquid fueled firebox. It says right there at the bottom 96k heat. So that would have been a little bit better to use than the 3.2k heat from the, the creosote. But uh, fuel, you need to be refining oil and you need to keep that up. But uh, now, uh, as you can see, I've set up some industrial steam engines, and they are connected to the side with the fuel go or the steam going through the liquid arc right here. If I turn them on, all right, there we go. Uh, so the fuel's coming out into the liquid duct and going into the steam engines. I've replaced this with fuel, being a little bit better of a generator of heat. This has an internal capacity which it can be put into a uh, tank. And these guys will also hold uh, steam on their own. Now, the maximum that one of these industrial steam engines is going to put out is 8 MJ per tick. So you're going to want to make sure that you are giving it enough fuel to be efficient. Let's see if that helps. Oops. You can have multiple feeds coming off of this. If I could do this. There we go. Those are all connected. So once they heat up, as you can see, they're getting a little bit more steam now. They're topping off because they have more coming into them here. They're going to max out at 8 MJ. That is when they are most efficient. They do heat up a little bit. You can see they change colors. And they are filling up my redstone energy cell. Very quickly, considering this is only 5 of them. And as long as I keep fuel in the box, it will keep producing steam. Just want to watch the temperature to make sure that you don't run out of water and it doesn't get too hot. That's just a basic overview of the steam boiler and how you can get that set up to give you some energy. Um, remember, there are a couple of different engines, steam engines. Their efficiency is varying, and as well as different sizes of steam boiler. Its efficiency is varying as well. I hope this, hope this was helpful for you. If it was, give me a like, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see any other different uh, tutorials. Like always, I am Dave from the Kodo. Good luck and have fun.